Hey guys, Dave here from Wolf in the Wilds. Got uh, got an extra special treat for you today. It is a wild edible, and it's also a wild medicinal. It's called dead nettle. Now, dead nettle is not part of the nettle family. It's part of the mint family, but it looks so much like stinging nettle or wood nettle that they've actually just named it nettle and it doesn't have any kind of a sting like stinging nettle or wood nettle does so they called it dead nettle now it is a very low to the ground growing kind of plant it generally doesn't grow very tall um, maybe 30 centimeters or 12 inches uh, at, at most but right now being that it's still kind of early May early spring it's still kind of new coming up it's not very big at all so let's get down on the ground and have a good look at it here we have a very nice cluster of the dead nettle this specific variety for obvious reasons is called purple dead nettle so all of this red purpley color that's the nettle all this green that's clover and uh, other things Now, I'm hoping, this, the sun's kind of getting a little low in the sky, and I'm hoping that the light is good enough uh, to, to really see um, what a, a very noticeable plant this is, um, what a pretty little plant it is, um, with its nice little pinky purple flowers and the, the, the little silvery hairs, you know, kind of thing. <clears throat> now, as with all members of the mint family, the stem is square. That is a surefire way to know that you're dealing with a member of the mint family. And to the best of my knowledge, I can't think of not one member of the mint family that's actually poisonous. At least, not in regular doses. Any, you take too much of anything, it could be bad for you, but... To the best of my knowledge, there are no poisonous mints. So if you have a square stem, you can, you can bet you're dealing with mint. And that is the purple dead nettle, member of the mint family. Now, okay, the leaves are generally the only part uh, that's that's used. They are edible, both raw and cooked. Um, a lot of people will use it uh, to prepare into a tea, although other people like to put it in smoothies. Um, it doesn't taste like mint. It's, it's kind of earthy, pungent, kind of... It's, it's really hard to describe. You'd have to try it out for yourself. But you'd probably want to sweeten the tea with some honey. Um, it, it doesn't smell like mint. It doesn't taste like mint. Um, it's, it's not super unpleasant, but it's not super pleasant either. Um, it's not the tastiest member of the mint family. Um, you generally find it growing in areas of disturbed soil or fairly well-drained soil um, along... Pathways, roadways, game trails, near riversides, um, areas that, uh, that, that basically the soil has been disturbed in, in some way, shape, or form. Okay. The medicinal benefits of purple dead nettle. Now, first of all, let me say that this plant uh, will cause dehydration. Um, and you don't want to use it if you don't have access to clean, drinkable water. Okay, that's fairly important because it is a diuretic and diaphoretic. So that means it's going to make you urinate and it's going to make you sweat. And if you don't have access to water to rehydrate yourself, you're only doing yourself harm by using this plant. But it's also astringent. So... A poultice of this 
is going to be really, really, really good in uh, in wounds to, to help it stop bleeding and uh, get the healing jump started. Um, you can also use it as a wash. You can make sort of a almost like a tea out of it and then use it to wash your hands and and kind of whatever as well um, because it's anti-inflammatory it's antibacterial and it's antifungal so it's it's very useful in similar ways to like yarrow and plantain uh, purple dead nettle is very good for that as well so you could um, you could even um, add some of the leaves and, and some of the juices and whatnot uh, to a little bit of ash from your campfire. Make a very, very effective uh, kind of soap deodorant kind of thing to clean off with. Um, and being antibacterial, antifungal, um, you could use it as a mouthwash as well um, to help sort of clean your teeth. Um, the uh, cankers, if you get cankers, it'll help with that. Um, it's it's a very, very, very useful plant. Um, it It's good for your kidneys. It is very good for your kidneys. Um, so kidney stone sufferers might want to consider using this. Um, however, it is also a laxative. If you use it in large amounts or, or use it regularly, it does act as a laxative. Um, so you, you have to be careful of that. It's also very effective for treating seasonal allergies. If you have environmental allergies, um, especially like you hay fever sufferers, um, a tea made from this will definitely help you out uh, in, in times of those bad allergy seasons. So there is just an absolute ton of, of usefulness in this plant. Um, and oh yes, because of it's it's a, a purgative and a diuretic diaphoretic. It's good for helping to treat colds and chills and whatnot as well. Um, so it, uh, it it will it will help alleviate like cold and flu like symptoms uh, as well. Um, there's just so much to this plant. Uh, if you only learn about one plant a week. Um, by the end of the year, you're going to know 52 new plants, and I say that this one here should be one of the first ones that you familiarize yourself with. Because if you're ever stuck in a bad situation where you're lost in the woods, you're bugged out, you're in an extended period of time out there, then this plant will help you accomplish an awful lot, as long as you have clean, safe drinking water uh, to rehydrate with. So there you have it, guys. Purple. Dead nettle, a extremely useful plant in the medicinal world, a relatively useful plant as far as an edible is concerned. It is not the most pleasant of the mint family, but I mean it's it's not gag worthy either. It's just. Um, it's green. It's a little bit pungent, a little bit earthy. It's green. And, uh, hey, in a pinch, as long as you can rehydrate yourself, that'll keep you going for a while. So, thanks for checking out my video. I appreciate it. I hope you guys are staying safe over this whole uh, crazy COVID thing. And, uh, We'll get through it one way or another. That's what we do. See you guys in the next video.